Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel, and today we will be recapping the 2008 action crime movie, titled Death Race. Make sure you watch this video till the end, for a better experience. The movie begins with three cars attacking each other, then a masked man named Frankenstein is seen, who is driving his car very fiercely. He is Joe, the person who is most ambitious to kill Frank, when a few meters to the finish line, Joe does not let Frank get away so easily, then Joe launches a missile that will destroy Frank and his car, Frank who knows that their lives are both on the line, then asks his companion to get out of the car, and sure enough, the car that Frank is driving is immediately destroyed by the missile that Joe shot, and makes Frank die. Sorry, you're not a Frankie. The scene then switches to an employee at the steel factory that is almost bankrupt. This man is named Jensen Ames. After getting paid for his hard work, unexpectedly a horde of police came and attacked all the workers at the factory. After getting a rather brutal attack, finally Jensen and the other employees return to fight the police. After a rather long fight, Jensen was finally able to go straight home, to meet his beloved wife and child. When he arrived home, Jensen was immediately greeted by his wife's warm kiss. Then when they were about to make love, their child suddenly cried, indicating that they had to postpone their love making first. Then Jensen went to the bathroom to clean his body, and suddenly Jensen saw his wife lying lifeless. Then Jensen also got an attack that made him faint, and when Jensen woke up, several policemen were already at the scene to arrest him, which turned out to be Jensen accused of being the perpetrator of his own wife's murder. Jensen was then taken to a prison called Terminal Island. Like any new kid, Jensen was greeted with jeers from the inmates at the prison, and after the small mess was over, the head warden, Hennessy, then asked the officers to bring Jensen to him. Hennessy wanted Jensen to participate in an event called the Death Race, replacing Frankenstein who had just disappeared, because the audience really liked Frank, and wanted Frank to always be at the race. Hen also said that in order to be free from prison he had to win five matches, and Frank had won four matches before Frank died, and now there were only three matches left that would determine his life, as a result Jensen only needed to win one more match so that he could be free. Hearing the tempting offer made Jensen accept it gracefully, then Hen took Jensen to the workshop to introduce the team that would help him there. Jensen was introduced to a coach, and accompanied by two technicians, Jensen was also introduced to the car that Frank used to race. Then his teammates introduced one by one the racers, who would be his opponents later. Long story short, the race time arrived, the prisoners immediately broke out when they saw Frankenstein appear, which indicated that the legend had returned. Before the race started, the racers were given their respective navigators, and Frank himself got Case who became his navigator, and Case was also the navigator of the first generation Frank. After the introduction ceremony was over, they immediately prepared in their respective positions, and the race began. At the first start there were nine racers who participated in the death race event. As usual Joe, who was eager to beat Frank, continued to attack and target him. There is something you need to know in this race, that you can activate the attack and defense features, when you pass through a glowing circle with a picture of a sword and shield, and if you pass through a circle with a skull, then it will kill anyone who passes through it. Three attack features are active, they all immediately compete to get all three features, but one of them must die because he stepped on a circle with a skull. Then one of the participants had to die because of a rocket attack from another participant. Frank himself was quite difficult in his first match, but Frank also managed to burn one of the cars that disturbed him. When victory was in sight, Frank was stunned because he saw a participant who imitated the style of his wife's killer, and it made other participants crash into him and made Frank have to lose his first match. Due to the defeat Hen called Frank, and Hen wanted Frank to do the race again, but immediately Frank immediately refused, because Frank already knew if Henson was the mastermind behind his wife's death. However, Hen, who had information about Frank's son, then took advantage of the situation, so that Frank could be used as a slave forever, and with a heavy heart Frank finally had to do another race, so that his son was fine. Frank also promised that Frankenstein would become a monster as desired by Hen. Then Frank returned to the workshop to repair his car, 
and suddenly Frank saw a racing participant who accidentally passed him, which turned out to be a person who made the exact same movements as the person who killed his wife that time. Angry Frank began to follow the person, but it turned out that it was just a trap. But luckily, one of his friends came and gave Frank the opportunity to fight back. When Frank almost killed the man, finally the man began to open his mouth about the murder of Frank's wife, which turned out to be true that the brain behind it all was Hen. Not finished telling the story suddenly Hen's subordinates came to electrocute him and made them unable to move. The next day, the remaining six participants prepared for the next race, but strangely, in the second race Frank did not stick the gas first, instead Frank took his navigator to the tunnel. Their Frank asked if Case had killed Frank before, and finally Case admitted that the person who had killed Frank was indeed him. Actually Case did not want to kill Frank. Case just wanted Frank to lose the race so that Frank could not get out of prison, and he could immediately get his release letter, and again it was an order from Hen, who did not want to lose his favorite racer. After getting an answer from the Case, Frank finally resumed his race which had been interrupted, then Frank began to attack Joe, continued to attack the man who had killed his wife, and with Frank's intelligence, Frank finally could easily kill the man. After that Frank looked at the CCTV, which meant Hen was the next person he would kill. Knowing the meaning of that gaze, Hen immediately took out his favorite fighter or mass murderer, with the release of the fighter car causing three racers to die and leaving only Frank and Joe alone. Frank who did not want to waste his life just like that then contacted Joe, asking Joe to work together. Joe also had no other choice, and finally agreed to work together. Frank, who had a plan from the beginning, immediately realized his plan with Joe, and finally the moment they were waiting for had arrived, they brought the battle car to the skull circle and after passing through the circle, the big car was immediately destroyed. In the second match won by Joe, so Frank only had one chance to get out of the rotten prison. Hen, who was starting to panic, finally devised a plan and installed a bomb right under Frank's car. To avoid Frank's suspicion, Hen then gathered all the prisoners in the field and started giving speeches there. On the other hand, Hen's subordinates immediately attached the bomb to Frankenstein's car, and after Hem finished motivating the prisoners, Frank's teammates then showed him something. Then Frank was shown footage of the race in the first round, where it was seen that behind the wall of the can there was an exit, which could take Frank and others to escape from that place. After knowing that, Frank immediately started the escape plan. Immediately Frank went to Joe, and invited him to take part in the plan. Because Joe also wanted to leave the prison and live in Miami, finally Joe decided to join Frank's plan. Long story short, the night of the race arrived, the last two participants of the death race began to get ready at the start line. Now, their cars were equipped with the weapons they needed to slaughter each other on the slippery road. Before the race started, Hen came to Frank to give his release letter, which in fact the release letter would be useless because Frank would die when he was about to win the race. After all participants entered the car along with their navigators, the race finally began. The competition was still tight as usual, although this time Joe was less brutal against Frank, and they arrived at the end of the race. Hen who saw Frank leading began to launch his plan to defuse the bomb planted in Frank's car, but suddenly Joe fired a cannon at Frank's car, but the shot did not hit Frank, but destroyed the wall that blocked their escape route. Hen immediately panicked and immediately mobilized all his officers to arrest Frank and Joe, then he immediately pressed the remote control button that would detonate the bomb under Frank's car, but apparently the car did not explode, and made Hen even more angry. In fact, the coach had known the existence of the bomb and had defused it. On the other hand, Frank began to be pressed because of the pursuit of the police, then bravely Case offered to disguise himself as Frank, and surrendered himself, because it turned out that Case had also been given a release letter by Hen. The news of Frank's recapture made Hen reap a lot of praise. Hen also received letters and gifts as appreciation for his success, but when the gift was opened, it turned out that the contents. In fact, who sent the gift was not from outside the prison, but from his coach Frankenstein. Six months later, now Joe and Frank have become best friends, now Frank has taken custody of his son back, 
and Frank also intends to rebuild his household with his navigator, and the movie ends. So, what do you think about this movie? Maybe you can write it in the comments column, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.